All right, let's, let's take a look at the trend right now. So if I look at these two charts, I got crude here this morning. Let's look at the, look at the entire session. And I, I have gold right beside it. So let's take a look at the entire session on both of them. This is my longest Renko bar that we show in the room or on our templates. What we want to do is we want to stay on the side if we're trading with the trend of the market, which we want to. We don't want to go against the overall order flow. We have three MAs that we show on our template. A longer one, which is a magenta, a shorter one, and the shortest one hugs price. What you can do is you can use the longer time frame to find inflection points in the market on retracements, but also to keep on the side of the overall trend of the market. So the smaller MA is very important to me because what I like to see, I like to take arrows off my shorter 5 and 3 sim Renko bars with arrows that show me retracements when the 9 sim has separation like this. This is the open versus close, the body of the candle, the body of the candle on my Renko bar. Our Renko bar is very unique because I have a trend filter built into it. There's none other like like this. You can't can't use other Renko bars like this because I have a trend filter built in this. That's why it really gets you in nice trends. If you look, that's my smallest MA. The best time to short would be if you are below all three MAs right here. All three MAs, and you got the open versus close, the body of the candle, not the wicks, is not even touching. Not even touch the MA. That's a, that's the weakest part of the market. Vice versa, when it does come up and touch the wick, you're probably going to get an arrow that fires here on the 5 or 3 sim. That's a great short opportunity here. Here it fired. You're going to get some that fire there, and it's going to give you a nice short opportunity. Here it fired this morning. Those are short opportunities. Now, a little trick I use, I taught you guys, is when you get, let's see what started this downtrend. When this candle right here was 50% of the candle was straddling that smaller MA, look for a possible trend starting in that direction. Then when 90% of the candle closes, you possibly got a, hard, a, a trend in that direction. So this started, the candle right there started the whole move down. Then it finally got below it, and you're cranking. Now, you got to be careful in hard downtrends because the market's going to correct itself. So how you can play it is, is here's my 50% candle here. 50% of the candle is straddling the open versus close, is straddling the smaller MA. 90 plus percent of the candle is now above it. So you can look for a retracement long right here, which we got on the 3 sim. So I can take arrows long here because I'm not I'm below both of my other ones. But I got to correct away this moving up. So you got to be very careful on shorts. The market's trying to correct up and trying to come up to a deeper retracement for continuation. So you can see this arrow right here on the 3 sim is a valid trade setup. Because look at my 9 is above my smaller MA. We're correcting up. We get an error over here at 94. She goes all the way up to 20 on a corrective wave up against the overall move of the market. It's called a counter wave or corrective wave. So if you use this concept, we've only had two waves. We've had a big wave down since midnight until around 7 o'clock this morning. And then around 7.15, we've been moving up. Now, gold is totally the opposite. If I look at my gold chart ever since midnight, according to what I'm showing you how to do, is that you should not take any longs at all. Look, they keep marking the market down. So that's why I like to use the long 9 Simrenko as an overall scope, overall um, plan of, plan of action of going forward if I want to be a buyer or seller in the morning. And if you see the angles are down, look at gold, you should be a net seller. So this last sell setup on gold is a valid sell setup. Because look at this look at the retracements. It's retracing to my smaller MA. See how she's moving down? My arrows hit. 
and we're moving down. Why? Because look, I'm below the smaller MA. My open versus close. Look, she's still going down. If you do that, you typically we trend about three days a week on any given market, sometimes four in this volatility that we're getting. The volatility is just going to continue. These are electronically traded markets. Some of these markets are all-time highs. Just wait till it even starts correcting. I mean, the Dow could be down a thousand points any given day. That's how much we're overextended in some of these markets. So, or it can go up. It can keep keep going up. We don't care because we're just going to go with the overall scope of the trend. But that's how you can match using a five or three sim. Match it with the nine. Look at it. We're still going down. Why? Because we're not. We're smarter than the average trading opponent. We know not to counter this trend. This trend on gold is what? We have not had one buy signal according to this trend chart at all. It's been sell signal. Sell here, 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 sell here. It's all short side. If you can sit on your hands and be patient, you're going to get these type of charts about three days a week. All right? The volatility is only going to continue. So you must recognize if you get this type of chart, you have to be aware that you stick to one side. Okay? That that's going to help you out. See the difference? Crude trended up. It was trending down all morning. Right there, look at that trend. According to my chart. Now we're back up. Look at gold. Gold is they keep marking the market down. Okay, so it really helps you to look at your bias and it helps you not get run over by it helps you not to get run over by arrows that fire on the five and three cent. That's perfect alignment, how you want to match it up. I think use a five and three sim for entries. The best if you're above all three, above all three, that's the best situation. Gold's the best situation to get into right there. Crude all morning this morning. That's the best situation right here. You're putting yourself in a position to really win. Okay, and that's on any given market. NASDAQ futures did the same thing this morning too. If you get sideways, you log in, and these are sideways chop, let's say these, uh, like it was yesterday on, on crude, well, what I tell you to wait? Look for market profile. Market profile is in between the LV and HVA. I said wait till it breaks out. After I got off the mic, about, what, about a half hour later, it broke out. Look for the first retracement, it retraced, and then you got your first good trade on crude out of a chop market. It worked out great. So in chop, meaning these MAs will be flat, you just got to wait till we break out a market profile. That's when you really want to use that market profile chart. I love it when it's, you can use it with trend too, but it works really good in chop because you sell the high by the low, and then you wait until you break out of it, and then you go back to work. 